Namaste! Grand Rising Water Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into the next 48 hours. The Skullduggerous Moon is in Gemini, which sextiles the Sun in Aries. You may feel more at ease with the way things are going, less stressed about what you can't control. You believe in your ability to adapt. You also have Mercury and Chiron connecting in Aries. Everything's going on in Aries. <laughs> You're at a crossroad, which could feel like there's a boulder in your way. Be open to out of the box solutions that awaken your spiritual side. You are, you're or you are evolving and gaining a deeper understanding of yourself. Chiron's presence makes this a day of spiritual healing. Allow yourself to mend and move forward in all ways. Right, let's dive in, Water Science, and see what's going on for you. Recon is afoot. Bacana. This is represented by the Empress in Tarot, the letter B, the numbers 12, 13, 14 and 15. This speaks about deceit and anxiety, darling dears, and abandonment. And it also speaks about somebody losing control. They're losing their shiz naive, darling dear. It also speaks about a fake friend or a lack of parenting in a situation, lack of nurturing and somebody who's skullduggerous to the core. It could also speak about what the moving away from a situation with someone who is a false empress or emperor. Good golly and gosh, I know, big cat. I know. If I have pearls, I'll be clutching mine with you, darling dears. For show. For show. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you having a codependent energy around you at this moment in time. Something that you're going to want to release. As I said, the moon... The moon in Gemini, sextile in the sun, in Aries, is giving you a chance to what? Feel less stressed about a situation and believing in your adaptability to being around what? Hoodwinkers, darling dear, hoodwinkers. Leave them where they are. I feel inclined to get a domino. blank. The blank is represented by the fool in tarot, darling dears. This is Mercury as well as Uranus energy. Uranus is the sudden change. Uranus also rules um, the, the AI, the internet. Mm -hmm. Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury, darling dears. It speaks about what a freedom, wanting a freedom and wanting your individualism, darling dear. It also is a reminder for you to what? Pay attention to your intuition. You'll be genius with it, darling dears. Uranus also rules the electricity, so be care of any form of electrical fire or electrical mayhap that may what cause you an injury, darling dears, or somebody may be what falling with your electricity, right? Because they want to burn you to the ground because you said, I'm not having it, mate. And you've pushed yourself away from a skullduggerous table. Mm -hmm. Uranus also rules the um the nerves. Yes, baby, someone's getting on every one of your nerves. Good golly and gosh. The five is represented by um, the Hierophant, Tor Taurus energy, darling dears. Yes, baby, this is about using wisdom to be wise in a circumstance or situation. The, the blank five speaks about an unhappy relationship, an unhappy marriage, an unhappy partnership. It's just unhappy, blood. Unhappy. And you want to be like the fool in tarot, taking a leap of faith and a risk or a new beginning for you. Mm, pardon me, darling dears, that was a spiritual belch. Because I speaks the truth, Ruth. Pinkies up. 
Yes, baby. Somebody wants to move away from somebody who's a fakerzoid. A full-on what? Polyester band. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So much intel and so little time. Let's get some outside, outer messages. Let me use some cards from this deck. It's such a big deck, I can't shuffle them. So I'll take a selection from the middle. And then we'll go with it. Yeah. There's no forgiveness in a situation, darling, dear. Mm. Yeah. No forgiveness because you want whatever you like, darling, dear. And you're prepared to get it by any means necessary. Yes, someone or someone is choosing themselves in a situation. Nothing more from this part of the deck. Let's see what else comes out for you. Mm. Looks like you're going to be saying yes, or the universe is telling you yes. It's time to be go, go, gadget arms. Yes, to removing yourself from someone who is a high commander deceptacle. I told you, a full on polyester band. Mm. Let's get your ancestral oracle message. Good God, it looks like fresh is naive, shining in the light, darling dear. Somebody's seen the light. We're gonna use the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck for your ancestral oracle message. I'm not gonna take those, we're gonna give it a good, let me take this off because it's getting a bit intrusive at the moment. Ancestral message for my water signs for the next 48 hours. Ancestral message for the water signs. Thank you. You've got grief, darling dear. Somebody's going to be crying into their fist, mate. Let's have bad juju. Stay with them. You want to be a happiness expert, my water sign. It also speaks about speaks about what Isaiah 48 22. No rest for the wicked. Grief, or maybe they caused many a grief in your life. This is an empress energy, a mother energy, a feminine energy, darling dear. That's been on been riding on you, right? Like a cheap lace thong. Mm -hmm. The two and a nine goes to an eleven. Um, this is a master number, darling dear. It speaks about what? Divine inspiration as well as synchronicities and it's an encouragement for you to keep going to keep keep it popping darling dear seen a lot of green green is represented by the heart chakra darling dears as well as the dull yellow the dull yellow is about jealousy around a city you can't be in the bed or in a friendship or partnership with somebody who is instinctively jealous instinctively jealous of you darling dear jealous Jelly Bo Gelly. The heart chakra is represented by Archangel Gabriel. Call him at any time. It's also represented by the moon. Yeah, Cancer energy, darling dears, as well as Pisces and the direction of the north. Maybe you're going to be moving to the north or you found your birth natal chart and found your superhuman powers in your north node, darling dears. It's also represented by um, the day of the week, which is Thursday. Mm hmm. You're wanted to. You're wanted to get a more um, understanding of what you what's going on in your life. This is about you trusting in the unseen, and it also speaks about forgiveness. Maybe you're going to forgive yourself for getting into a situation, possibly with a feminine energy. So this is a Mitch bitch or a bitch Mitch that was a doppelganger and a Decepticon from the beginning, a full-on polyester band. Wow. Oh wow. Hmm. Face of the deck, we've got what? The radical rebirth of you, love it. And two cats as well, so big cat energy. We've also got the five. Again, the five is being banded around. Five is represented in numerology by what? Constructive freedom, change, being more versatile with your life. It also speaks about travel. Some of you are planning to travel away from a situation or going on a journey. Mm -hmm. And it's about the adaptability of you, darling, dear. Um, the five in numerology also speaks about wanting freedom. This is a situation that's been in, um, had a lot of instability and conflict and changes of foot, darling, dears. Represented by um, Virgo as well as Pisces energy. In numerology, it rules Virgo and Pisces. Mm -hmm. Wanting to move away from a situation, a situation that you was faithful to, darling dear, but you created a lot of anxiety and um, 
critical moments. Good God, who wants to be in a situation where there's always a ta-da moment and each ta-da is more skullduggerous than the last one? I think not, Scotty. I think not. I'll be a missing cat, mate. Seen a lot of the cat style in here reminds me of Big Cat Leo Energy. That's the fifth house, the fifth house of what? Dating, the SEX, romance. Mm -hmm. But it's also the house of what? Drama.com. It's the house of um, children as well as a childlike spirit. But it's also about hobbies as well as you what? Taking a risk, darling dear. The key words for the fifth house is I will. This is about you tapping into your will, your solar plexus, darling dear, and finding a new direction for you. Base of your deck. That's the truth roof. Pinky's up. And it's on a three and a four. Three and a four is what? The emperor as well as the empress energy. This is about balancing your masculine and feminine energy. But it goes to a seven. What's that? Chariot cancer energy. This is about forward movement. It's going to be a success. But you have to what? Trust in the unseen. Break away from what no longer serves you. Good God. Let's get a deck and see what else is going on for you, darling dears. I'm going to use the... Light Seer's Tarot, base of the deck, three of cups. Oh gosh, it could have been skullduggery. Um, cheated in a relationship, or the best friend you thought you had had an even bestest friend, darling dear. This is about turning away from a situation. Mm -hmm. Three of cups is also speaking about for some, it's going to be um, celebrated time for you, darling dear. Um, some form of success, something kicking off in your life. It's about happiness as well as growth. But again, I'm still feeling the energy of a third party. The Three of Cups is represented by um, Cancer as well as Mercury energy. Mercury is telling you to deal with the situation with a rational mind. But also, Mercury rules what? Trips, darling dear. Short journeys. Mm -hmm. As well as what? Having the memory of an elephant. Remembering certain things. And using that those things to move you forward. Mercury also rules neighbours as well as siblings, as well as what? Transportation, but above above all else, it's about the so, about the arm, um, about the versatility of your life, darling India. But it's about movement. Mm. Energy around my cancer, Pisces and Scorpio energy for the next 48 hours. Let's dive in, darling, please. Wow. Yeah, someone doesn't want a situation to end with you. It also speaks about possibly you've seen something on the internet, the World Wide Web. Mm hmm. World card on its face is represented by Earth and Saturn energy, as well as the fixed signs of Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius. Good golly and gosh. This speaks about what? Um, maybe you're going to have to leave the situation with no closure, right? Save yourself. Yeah, because you want to be in a situation where you're recognised for whom you are. It's about your monetary skills. It's about a new beginning it's also about a new job working at something new darling dears three of pentacles all these thruples that are coming out does definitely mean something skullduggerous within a friendship group a family group mm -hmm. three of pentacles in the upright is represented by capricorn as well as mars energy this is about you um wanting new opportunities in your life this is about you what be, wanting to be around those that are pursuing a common goal, learning new things, but it's collaboration for some, but it's about teamwork for others. It's about you, what? Appreciating the new options that you have, leaving a situation that was what? Dragging on, mate. It was a full on drag on. Yeah, moving away from drama and trauma.com, darling dear. But it's going to be an emotional moving away from a situation, but you're moving towards the sun. And this again reminds me of what the solar plexus it's about your personal power your will as well as your self-esteem which was tested in a situation the solar plexus is big cat leo energy the direction of east maybe you're going north east because we've already had the north out it's represented by the day of the week of wednesday darling dears mm -hmm. your communication as well as your social identity your self-esteem is tied up with you moving away from a situation Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. 
Thank you. Yeah, justice, darling, dear. This is the, definitely the ending of a situation. It could also be the ending of a work situation that's been dragging on, not being paid for the skills that you actually brought to the table, leaving a romance or a relationship that no longer serves you because there was no growth in the situation, darling, yeah? You felt tied down, stuck. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you being the karma for someone else, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. Or it was a karmic situation. Justice card is represented by Libra. Libra is the seventh house, the house of partnerships, marriages, long-term situations, business partnerships. It's about what? Lack of faithfulness in a situation. Wow. Maybe it was with somebody who was what? The town gossip. I don't know. Yes. And there was a spendthrift to boot. You couldn't keep a penny or a pound. Mm -hmm. Someone stayed in a situation because of the amount of money they put into a situation or the money that they feel they're going to lose by walking away. But how will you know unless you what, try? And remember, you've got whatever you like and by any means necessary, moving away from a Decepticon in the universe telling you yes. You can forgive them, darling, dear. Right? And, but forgive yourself first. The compassion has to go to yourself first. Clarify the world card on its face. Yeah, and... They don't want you to leave the situation. Somebody doesn't want you to be happy without them. This speaks about the gossip, darling dear, in the background and manipulation, which is going to be at your back. This person is going to get on the internet and your name's going to be everything but a child of God. Good golly and gosh. And they're going to lie about it as well. Not bringing, they're going to be telling half truths at your back, darling dear. They don't want you to be a success or they felt successful when you teamed up with them. Started working with them, the skills and, and money and luck you brought to the table, Queen of Cups, mastering your emotions. No longer loyal to a situation, what did I say? Three of Wands. This is about moving on, but it's about you what? Moving on with a plan. And again, we see the three, darling dear. Good golly and gosh. Three of Cups and all these three on the table. It was, it was a situation where you had to close your eyes to a situation where others were not being loyal to you. And it could be a job. Maybe you found that you had only you had the glass ceiling, darling, dear. People being promoted around you that did not have the mastery of the skills that you actually have. But it's definitely the moving away from a situation that no longer serves you. Drama and trauma. Look, what fell out? Listen, Big Cat, this is a first... All the threes on the tableau and in, in close proximity, it's a reminder to have hope for a new beginning, but you have to trust in the unseen, trust in being able to adapt to new things because you can't, you can't heal in a place that broke you, darling dears. You have to move on and see it from a different perspective. This is moving away from betrayal and a back front neck tabbing snake. Like I said, Isaiah 42, no rest for the wicked. Once you move away, right, you might be in more control of your, having authority in your life, control of your pentacles, and choosing what life you want to live, darling dear. You have to what? Be loyal to yourself first and foremost. Page of Wands, taking a leap of faith will be the best decision you ever made. Mm -hmm. This is about being spiritually guided. You must be the karma for this person or people because you will meet your true empress. And this is future energy darling dear you haven't met the person yet but it's all about what using the page of one energy to heal move on and find what you find the joy for yourself in this lifetime the empress energy also speaks about knowing your worth and adding tax darling dear mm -hmm. solo dolo ten of swords cutting those what soul ties and emotional cords darling dears using wisdom because it's for the wise Moving on quickly, darling dear. Time to let go, King of Swords, darling dears. This is in the upright. This is what understanding the situation for what it is. The King of Swords or the Queen of Swords can represent someone who is divorced, left the situation. But you've got the, the wisdom of your past experiences. Wisdom is for the wise. And it's also about what God in your heart. For from your heart springs the well of life. Proverbs 4.23, darling dears. This is about you, what? Being slow to speak, looking at people's actions in the, because you lost a lot in the past situation, but you can get it all back again once you release a lot of what negative behaviors, darling dears. Devil card on its face. Knowing your worth and adding tax. This King of Swords is looking back into the past, but you're looking back at the two of Pentacles. You're feeling as though you should have left the situation a long time ago because you was on the hamster wheel of the rinks and repeat, darling dear. And what did I say? 
Ace of Cups, guard your heart. You will meet new people, but it's about you healing from within so that you don't attract that energy towards you again. All of the threes, darling. Yeah, good golly and gosh. Mm -mm, that's not fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. But when it was three threes on the tableau, darling, dears, it's the universe working with you. It wants to make your dreams a reality, but you have to believe in yourself, right? Because you will get the balance and support. It's about you trusting your intuition. Do we have any more messages from this deck? Before we move on, final message from my water signs, Lord, King of Swords, leave the trauma and the drama behind, darling, dear, and remember, the past is for recon only, it's not for you to stay there too long, why, the DNS blood, you've got to remember, if you stay there too long, there's depression, there's lack mentality, and possibly going back to a situation that no longer served you, or being afraid to leave a situation, a situation that was highly emotive, filled with anxiety and this is what the king of wands someone who was actually charming it could have been a same sex relationship same sex friendship or it may not have been but the king of wands is somebody who is charming but this person is an out and out liar someone who is self-serving i've just noticed this person got a whole lizard on their chest darling dear leo energy on its face drama.com darling dear take what you can from and the lesson from the situation and move on let's get a final card we're going to use the moonology deck Still, and keep your circle tight and right, darling. Yeah, King of Swords doesn't just brag his business to anyone. This is about you going within because all answers come from within. Final message from my water signs for the next 48 hours. Wow, your hard work is going to pay off. Show the world the real you, darling. You've got Aquarius as well as Capricorn energy, both are ruled by Saturn. Saturn, Saturn who comes with gifts. Yes, be a bit of reward and recognition, but it's about being disciplined. It's about doing the hard work, getting through this hump, darling dear, to better days. You can only cry for so long, darling dear. It's time to release the negativity. And we've got what Scorpio Moon? Scorpio is the arm, um, the eighth house. The key word for Scorpio is I desire. It's also the house of what? The wealth of others. People was always relying on what you brought to the table. But it's, the eighth house is also the house of what? Endings and beginnings, darling dears. Time to, for you to let something go. On that note, just saw 2-2 two, 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 two on the counter, darling dears. The higher octave of 1111, major master spiritually guided number. Mm -hmm. And it all comes to what? An eight. Eight is the number of infinity. It's also the number of what? Money, darling dear. Freeing up your money when you take this leap of faith. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.